Over a period of time, several monks from India, they traveled to this particular location in Central Asia. So a very healthy ecosystem was created. People veered into Central Asia to learn the value system of Buddhism. Central Asia was not just the hub or the melting pot of Buddhism, but was also a place from where Buddhism spread out. The earliest traces of uh, Buddhist traditions, Buddhist practices, Buddhist value systems were found in the second century BC in Central Asia. And the Central Asia we are talking about at that point broadly covered the area of uh, northern Afghanistan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, parts of southwestern China, an area which was known as Bactria. And several kingdoms were formed in that particular patch of land. Uh, over a period of time, several monks from India, they traveled to this particular location in Central Asia. They settled down in different towns. They were aided and helped and uh, assisted by traders, businessmen, who were trading along the Silk Route. So a very healthy ecosystem was created wherein we find that the traders along with the monks had created a, an ecosystem which conveyed very positive message. Message of social welfare, pure governance, healthy living, peace, non-violence and whatever have you. And at that time, unfortunately in the various kingdoms in that uh, part of the world, things were not uh, uh, proper or in order. There was a lot of chaos, a lot of anarchy. So people veered into Central Asia to learn the value system of Buddhism and take it back to their respective kingdoms. As a result, Central Asia was not just the hub or the melting pot of Buddhism, but was also a place from where Buddhism spread out to different parts, different, different regions far and wide.